All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a foolproof, easy, delicious dumpling sauce that you can use with noodles or whatever else you want. So as I'm getting the water boiling for my steamed dumplings, I'm gonna add some double fermented soy sauce. This is super delicious, but you can use any soy sauce you want, including some of this light soy sauce that I ended up finishing the bottle off. Next, some black vinegar or any other kind of vinegar you want. Rice vinegar also works, red wine vinegar works, normal vinegar works, you just want some kick in there. And some ponzu, this is not something that I usually use or have, but since I was kind of light on the other ingredients, I thought, why not? Now, next you just want some delicious sesame oil. This will add a really nice aroma. And finally, some laogan ma, the top favorite chili oil that I have. It adds so much depth as well as fat and heat and flavor and basically goes good with almost every savory dish. Now that we've got our basic sauce ready, let's go ahead and open up our vegan frozen dumplings. They're so cute and little. And go ahead and put them in our steamer now that the water is boiling. So you just wanna turn the fire down to a simmer and go ahead and place your dumplings in an even layer on the steamer. You can put oil here. I didn't just cause I didn't have like a cooking oil spray and didn't wanna mess with it. So I just set them all in here, uh, spread it out a little bit so they weren't touching as much and set a timer for 10 minutes. Now here, I just wanted to taste the sauce a little bit make sure that it was to my satisfaction, but I thought a little bit of vinegar would make it taste a little better. So I just added a few splashes of rice vinegar, stirred it up and voila, my dumplings are done after 10 minutes. So it's just time to turn the fire off and we can start plating the dumplings. So here I'm just going to put the dumplings on a plate and serve the sauce over it because this was just a casual dinner. Wasn't really trying to impress anybody but myself and to impress myself, all that matters is taste. And I've got this amazing dumpling sauce that's salty, that's spicy, that's fatty and heaty. Honestly, this is what I thought salt, fat, acid, heat was gonna be about, but you know what? I'll make my own version. Now, just a little sparkle of sesame seeds and we are done and ready to enjoy them. I hope this easy dumpling sauce brings you lots of joy in your own kitchen. And if you try it, please let me know. Let me know what kind of substitutions you use. I would love to hear from you. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.